Hey guys, what's happening? So, I wanted to show you my tram tool, eh? Just 3D printed design of Fusion 360. So if you're not familiar with like a tram, tramming uh, on a CNC machine, um, actually it's still, it's still kind of new to me, but um, when I put the spindle on this new mount, I didn't, I feel like it wasn't straight 100%, like up and down, uh, and this way too. So this way, going back and forth this way, wasn't straight, I think it's a little bit actually going in like this, like that. And so this tool that I, I designed is going to help me figure that out. Because uh, if it's not straight, the, the bit tip is not straight, the end mill is going to cut uneven grooves. So if you're facing something, it's going to leave a bunch of marks, grooving marks. You know, where the bit is one side of the bit is lower and one side of the bit is higher. It's going to leave lines in your, in, your, in your cut. So I want to at least, you know, uh, improve it. I mean, they do actually make some pretty cool tools with like dual dial indicators, but they're like 100 bucks. I, I just wanted some basic uh, adjustment here. I just want to see how far off I was. So, because if I'm pretty far off, I'm just going to throw some uh, shims in here. Like, 3D print some more shims here and there, and maybe put a shim here and there. Get everything straight. But let me show you this real fast. I'm going to tap this for M3. I put a couple screws here. I'll put this on my Thingiverse page, but. Um, so, I'm going to tap it for M5. And uh, I'm going to go on. I actually have an ER16 call, but most 3018s have an ER11. Because I'm at Marvel's here. I did the brushless conversion. So. I hope you can see this through my containment system, that plexiglass. See how it's, it's touching the bed on this side? And then it's up on that side? Yeah, that's going to create a ridiculous like mark on the, on the if you're trying to face it. You can even see that it's not flat here on the thing. And that's not going to be perfect, but look at that. And you can do the same thing for this side. Yeah, it's way off on that side too. So, yeah, I got to do some shimming here. Alright, so I printed a one millimeter shim here. I'm gonna put it back there. Hopefully that's gonna bring that forward. Well, so before I put the shim on, I just want to show you guys again. The hopefully you can see that. I mean we're talking like probably three to four millimeters on one side. And it's off on that side too. So I'm gonna first start with the uh, y-axis this way. Alright, so I put that shim in there. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit, but you can see it's almost even on both sides now. I'm still off on this side, though. Um, but I was off on this last time, though. So, I'm going to have to fix this going this way on the x-axis, too. Yeah, because it's funny, it, when it was, uh, before it would chatter more than one, going one direction than the other. I could tell it was kind of angled the, the, the bit. Alright. So I created a shim for this thing, so I'm going to put it under this. Um, linear bearing plate right here. And hopefully that's going to bring up. This actually should be one millimeter. And if you tell, this is actually my ball screw conversion. If you ever saw that, that's loose. We're, okay, I have to tighten that up. Um, all right, let's get that going. All right, so I got this thing dialed in pretty good. I mean, I could probably go like a quarter of a millimeter. Um, what's funny is that since I started off in 3D printing, <laughs> I, I think in metric. So. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, like, I mean, it's, you can hear what it's scratching, but well, that's actually what I want, so I can see where the low spot is. So it's like, I don't know why it's it feels like it's almost perfect. I could probably go like another quarter of a millimeter, maybe up on this one. God, it's super close though. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it's pretty close. I mean, I'll do a cut. But uh, that's a tramming tool for a 3018. Yeah, so I actually, I, I got the idea from another guy online, but it was for a different printer. It wasn't for the, the size of a 3018. So I wanted to design something for a 3018, the, the, this actual bed size. But yeah, I mean, hopefully now, we're gonna get some even even uh, even cuts. Not gonna have, All right, so in this video, I'll put a link down below on Thingiverse if you want this thing. But uh, yeah, it definitely makes it so it's level. Hopefully I'm not going to have any of those uneven edges you know, anymore when I do a, uh, you know, surface cut. Alright, awesome. Cool.